Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So are you like me? You have a hard time in some games. Or you just suck at gaming in general and you just want to get good. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to rewind time and retry our mishaps and missteps within the games we're playing? Just like the SNES Classic, we got Rewind up in here for our retro pod bros. So today, we're going to learn how to do this feature. So let's be kind and rewind and get this party started. Okay, my ladies and gentlemen, so the way to get this feature enabled, there's going to be a couple steps. We'll go over a couple different ways to get this set up for all your emulators. But first, we'll just go ahead and show you how to set it up when you're already within a game. So right now we're playing Arrow Fighters up on the Super Nintendo. So within your game, what you can do is press your enable hotkey button. Now, if you have a fresh image you set up, that's going to be automatically set to select. And then your menu button is going to be X. So whatever you have that set up to, let's go ahead and press select and X. Now we are in RetroArch. So from RetroArch, what we want to do is go down to settings. So you might have to back out and go to settings. Press B, go to settings. And now we'll go to input. And then down up on our enable or input hotkey binds, we're going to go in there. Now we're going to have a few options. You can also set your fast forward toggle, which, you know, it'll just make the game speed up a bit. I have mine set to the R button. Now, the other thing you're going to want to take note of, the rewind button I have set to my L trigger on my controller, which is number four on my particular controller. So what you'll do on those is, so for rewind, for example, I want my L button. So I'm going to press A to select it. Now it's asking me to press a button. I'm going to press L. So I have my left trigger or left shoulder button set to rewind. Now, that doesn't do anything. You need to make sure you have your enable hotkeys set. So enable hotkeys should automatically be set to your select button if you set up your controls properly with an emulation station. But we'll go ahead and do it again anyway. Press A, press select. We have our select button set for enable hotkey. So there's a lot of things you can do in here that you can set up shortcuts and little, little cool little things to do. The one thing I do want to let you know is, is that typically when you do a basic setup in your controls, your save state and load state are going to be set up to the L and R buttons. So you may want to change those to something else because if you try to enable uh, rewind or fast forward, more than likely it'll just do save state and load state. So you need to change those to something else. Just go through your list and make sure the buttons you have assigned and the auto buttons that none of them are repeated because if they are repeated, the function you want to use will not work. So once you have that set up, we have our rewind and our fast forward toggle set up. If we just go straight back into the game, I'm going to let you know right now, your rewind will not work. There's one other thing you need to do. The thing you need to do is to go back in your settings and go to frame, frame throttle. Open that up. Now you're going to have the first option there that says rewind. Go ahead and open her up. Rewind enable, you have to have it on. The default will be off for enable rewind. And you have a couple other options that you can change the speeds. And then we can go ahead and back out of there. But if you're within your, your game, you can go ahead and make sure that you go back and you go to configurations and save con current configuration. That'll save it for the emulator that you are within. Boom, we've saved that for SNES, so that is only set up for SNES. You can do this for each system and change the button layout however you choose, or you can just go to RetroArch within the RetroPie configuration screen and do your, sa your settings there and then just save it there and it will save in your all folder and it will enable those buttons for all your systems. But it's going to be the same process. You just need to make sure your frame throttle is turned on and that your, your hot keys are set. So once that's done, we can just go to quick menu, go to resume. And now I'm holding the select button 
and L, and I am rewinding. Now, for however long you're playing the game, it will allow you to rewind depending upon how long you've played for, obviously. But it is a really neat feature, I think. And a lot of people have been asking about this lately, especially with the SNES Classic being announced, showing that this feature is enabled. But I, I think it's really cool. You know, it, it gives us more options. Not a lot of people use this or know about it, but it's there. And it can be useful. So if you found this interesting or helpful to you, please smash that like button for me if you could. I really would appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Check out a few more of my videos if you could. I really would appreciate that. And I will catch y'all next time. Boom!